All right, Camino is over. Now we're back to trip day. So we're talking about trip day 36 and 37. Travel day from Santiago to Porto and our first day in Portugal in Porto. And that was today. It was, it was fun. Like um, our trip yesterday was pretty boring. It was all Saints Day yesterday, huge. Um, holiday in okay, Europe, so especially in Spain. Nothing was going on. Nothing was open. Everything was closed. Um, so we slept in, um, left around 11, hoping that a post office would actually be open so we can mail some stuff to ourselves at the end of the trip. It wasn't. So we went to... So we around. We went to the train station, got our tickets, had a little bit of pizza in the train station. Surprisingly good for a train station. Um, not the greatest pizza, but just surprisingly good for a train station. Got on, traveled to Vigo a couple hours away. Um, Vigo was dead, dead, dead. There was a shopping center with some restaurants there open. Ship. There was a cruise ship. And so we decided to walk up to the shopping center, which was like, according to Google Maps, 600 meters away. And Google Maps took us. Up a freaking mountain. Well, they took us to a dead end. stay on the 400 for five stops through S. Lazaro. Took us to a total dead end. Like we had to climb up. We would have had to have climbed up this embankment like 20 feet high to get up to this road. Like it was hilarious. Not so hilarious. Men, I think, was a little bit feeling a little bumpy and stuff. Yeah, we had everything with us. It was a little frustrating for sure. It's like my back freaking hurts. Like my neck hurts. But we I'm ended. A big baby, but I don't care. But in it, we, we, she. And I was thinking for KFC. Yeah, she put her big for girl KFC. panties that we were going up there. Well, there was nothing else open really either. Like literally there was nothing around the train station, nothing in the train station. So there was this little shopping center that had McDonald's, it had Burger King, it had like, it had every American restaurant that's in the country. And we were going to go try some KFC because all the Euros that we've met love it. So we wanted to see what it was about. We saw Popeye, Popeye's and actually we went to Popeye's instead I mean, is better than KFC in America, so. yeah and that may hold true because their chicken was really good their tenders were really good and crispy um the, the other biscuit? things that we ordered the biscuit is not a biscuit here no it's terrible it doesn't it it's not like shaped like a bishop muffin. biscuit it doesn't take taste like it's sweet it was like weird anyways i'm sure they did market research and that's what people like better than our biscuits that's cool whatever um but yeah, and then we just literally hung out at that mall for like three hours because our train didn't leave for four hours. And we didn't want to hike down the mountain. And we didn't want to hike down the mountain. So it's fine. And the guy was from Venezuela. Yes. We keep meeting people from Venezuela. Yeah, and Renee. And I'm a Venezuelan nerd. I'm a total Venezuelan nerd. And so Renee and I totally talked. And uh, this... Wow. So anyways, yeah, Renee and I talked. That was fun. Um, so... And then we got on our last train just before eight o'clock. It was, ran a little bit late. We didn't get into like about 10 o'clock, but fortunately I'd found an Airbnb, like literally, we walk out the front doors of the train station, walk across the street, there it was. It was perfect, because we were just tired. And we went straight to bed and got a good night's sleep, slept in again. Yeah, we slept, both slept for like nine hours or something like that. And then got up today to do our day, first day in Portugal and Porto, and it was a blast. Like, wow. Porto is a cool city. It is really beautiful, it's, um, really clean, just really, just cool. Cool parks everywhere, buildings. The buildings are all unique. They have different paint jobs, different tiles on the outside, all these like painted tiles. It's so cool, this place is so beautiful. We did a walking tour. And before we got to our walking tour, we were hungry, so we stopped at this, a random, like... We had chocolate cake for breakfast. Yeah, a random uh, pasteleria, like, it pastry so shop. Good. It, it was, was like the, the best, best pastry, pastry shop we've been to on the whole trip. The only thing that can... Get off soon at Campana at about 1908. At the Japanese Parisian At the Japanese one. Parisian fusion one. But yeah, the chocolate cake was amazing. We got pastel, or pastel de nata, which is a big thing here. Portugal, they're egg custards, they're bomb diggity, they're so good. And um, tried a few other things that were also very good, but the chocolate cake and the pastiche, they were, they took it away, it was awesome. So, and then we did our walking tour with our guide, 
Gianfranco, also a psychologist, also Perfect. from Venezuela. Um, so anyways, uh, we walked but around. He's been here for 10 years, so like, he, he really wove a lot of psychology into his oh tour. God, it was pretty funny. lecture about how to go to the gym for two months. It's a habit, not a lifestyle. Yeah. You have to go to the gym for nine months to make it a lifestyle. Yeah, 60 days to make it a habit, nine months to make it a lifestyle. He kind of sounded like me a little bit. It was four, but, um, but anyways. But talked about that for too long. That was my only... But we saw some cool good. stuff. He knew a lot of the history of the town, yeah. of Portugal in general, of the architecture. It was, it was cool. Walking though, because we only walked like there was a lot of yeah kilometers. The we, whole yeah, thing, which is less yeah. than two miles. Little yeah, well, it was so, like three and a half, so it was a little over two miles. But yeah, it was not very much. I was a nerd. I got attached to details. My bad. <laughs> so, anyways, um, we. Did that, that went down. Now let's do the 400 so it can fit our, our video. Yeah. Comes in one minute. So, anyways, we did that. We went down, had some, we had a, bac, a bolinho de bacalao, which is a little like hush puppy with fish cod in it, salted cod. That was okay. We had a little pastel that was okay. Um, we went to a mall to get a couple <laughs> of things because we thought there's going to be a quick silver shot there. And it was, just a, it was like a big yeah, it was. Yeah, section. they had a quick silver section, and but it. Not, I thought it would be like, oh, maybe we could get like fifteen dollar vans. No. No, it's no. Really oh, it's all. Yeah, it's all the same prices. So, anyways, we did that. We came back into the city and went to a couple different restaurants to eat. It ended. Is your battery? Ended. Oh no. And then um, we had uh, a bifana, which is a pork sandwich here, delicious. Um, then we went to another restaurant, had another bifana, and a francesinha, which was recommended to us by our friends Rafael and Camila. It was awesome. So that was such a good way to end the day with some really good food. And here comes... That's oh, not our bus. Behind, Maybe. For the service. For the service. So, yep, yeah, that's not us. So we got a little bit more. Sure? Yeah, because we're 400. So, anyways, yeah, great recommendation from our friends from Brazil, again, Rafael and Camila. Uh, just, man, this was one of our best food days. We were talking about it. Like, the food we had today was just, we hit three different, four different places, actually, and three of them were fantastic. So, just a really good day. Really beautiful town. Super excited to come back here. Want to bring Kristen here. I think she'll really love this place. And just like, uh, it is hilly, so there's a lot of walking up and down, but you don't ever walk for that long. So Porto, really cool city, really cool history, long term history with England to the world's longest military alliance, longest standing military alliance. It's almost 800 years old between England and Portugal. Pretty cool thing. Anyways. Talk about how they make it cheap for tourists. Because walk to Rua da Estacaui. Yeah. They keep, they try, the city decided to, that they would keep prices down so people would keep coming to Portugal. Yeah, they've done what they can to keep real estate prices low, food so prices low. Here, it is really twice. inexpensive, but the food is really good. Great. Really good. 10 out of 10. The, the price of the, the Airbnbs price. and the hotels, really good. Like, so this far, is a fun town. My favorite country, this trip. Yes, we love it. All right. And that is in a couple hours. That is our trip days 36 and 37 recap. Um, we'll post a little something on Instagram too um, at uh, Wilcox AP and underscore Mental Wilcox. And right. see you guys later.